thought Captain Marvel was a pretty decent movie. It had some good bits, it had some bad bits. Overall, I thought it was kind of like Top Gun meets Salem Moon. If you can really believe that, that's, that's actually what I thought. And I told it to my friend, Sarah and Drew, who I was watching the movie with. And then they were like, yeah, that is a... Then they were like, yeah, that's a really apt comparison. This was also set in 1995, so I wore at... So, I really wanted some more 90s pop culture references. Like, keeping the Tesseract in a briefcase, maybe. Because Samuel L. Jackson's in this movie. How could they miss out on that? And, uh, maybe... I don't know. A Dragon Ball Z reference? I... I know... Carol went all golden glowy in that one bit, but that's not officially a DBC reference. I'm gonna just wait for it to be confirmed. Or, you know, the only other missed opportunity, really, in this movie was at least one more Top Gun reference. Because, let's face it, it's kind of like that. Maybe the need for speed line. You could be like, oh my name, Ty Maria. It's just, she probably watched that movie while she was on Earth. So, why not reference it? And also, I really wanted to see Loki hang out with that cat at the end of the movie. Like, instead of the cat just throwing up the Tesseract. Which was funny, but not quite what I wanted to see happen. I wanted to have Loki show up and, like, put... And, like, pet the cat and whatever. Good kitty. Good kitty. We need a tesseract. We need a tesseract. I know. I really thought you missed out on an opportunity for more Tom Hiddleston. Not enough Tom Hiddleston! 8 out of 10!